Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look at the five best stock market books, which are my favorite. I'm going to go over them really quick, what they offer, and hopefully, you know, you will also like this book. So the five books that we are going to look at is uh, How to Trade in Stocks by Jesse Livermore, How I Made $2 Million in the Stock Market by Nicholas Darvas, and Tape Reading and Market Tactics by Humphrey B. Neal, and How make Money, How to Make Money in Stocks by Bill O'Neill, and How to Make Money in Stocks by Selling Short by Bill O'Neill as well. So these are like you now five great stock market operators. Uh, they are uh, now good with their own merits and they have some flaws. We are not going to look at their personal stuff. We are going to just focus on the book's content itself because at the end of the day, that's all matter. I know some people like these guys uh, very much and some people hate them. Uh, we are not going to care about that. We are just going to go over the book content itself and see what we can take away from this book and put it in work for us. So the first book we are going to look at is How to Trade in Stocks uh, by Jesse Livermore. Uh, this book is written in 1930s. So in my opinion, this is the first swing trade guy, you know, how to you know, operate in the market in growth stock without knowing anything, their growth stocks are not. But he written the book really very well. So the book has, like, it's a very small book. So within the book, I will let you guys you now focus on this first five chapters. That's all you have to read. So it's not more than 40 pages. Okay, it is small book, well written. Uh, like every chapter is like, you know, on to the point. It's just tell you that how to speculate in the stock market. And, um, you know, there are a lot of word of wisdoms within the 40 page. So you read them and I'm pretty sure that you guys will like it if you are into the growth stock trading. So this book is like you now written in 1930s and there is a market key and few other things at the end. You don't have to go through them. I don't think so. They will be much useful nowadays. But try to read this five first five chapters. It's just 40 page. Just read it. I'm pretty sure that there are a lot of things you can take away from this book. So the next one we are looking at is How I Made $2 Million in Stock Market by Nicholas Darrows. This is one of the best book like you may not take now, it's like a novel. You can just read it. It just tell you that how a layman who does not know anything about the stock market made money. So one of the interesting thing about this book, I really liked it. So everybody says that we had to watch every tick uh, on the tape to make money. But this guy stayed away like uh, as much as like you know, three, 4,000 miles away from the stock market and how he made the money. So he used to receive cables in the days of 1950s. Uh, he received the cable like you know, an example from Hong Kong and with all the um, ticker action and he made money from there. So you don't have to be you now close to the stock market to make money you can still make money as long as you leave the stock alone and give you enough time for the stock to know uh, play itself so that is one of the things you know, i like about this book is you now even he made money when he was in india at nepal so it's a very interesting book to read and he talks about the box theories and all you don't have to focus on that just focus on you know how to you know stay disciplined and how you can still make money by staying away from the stock market and if you look at the chart of uh, uh, fat shared camera which he made tons of money the story remained the same like you can look at today's uh, uh, roku shop tesla the same thing it runs up and it comes down so this is one of the good book to read so the next one is you know, uh, tape reading and market tactics this book this book is kind of a little bit technical. You may not take much away much from this book, but uh, it gives you a picture of how the stock market is made and how it's operated, like institutional investors, uh, you know, mom and pop, and uh, market makers, and so many things. How this honeycomb is made, how a trade is like you know, going on behind the stock market operation. So it is an interesting read. So you will have a better understanding of how the stock market operates and where you are coming into play. So it's a good book to read, but you uh, know, it's a little bit technical book, but there's a lot of, a lot of wisdoms as well. So you can take away so many things from this book as well. It's good to read. 
The next one we are looking at how to make money in stocks by Bill O'Neill and uh, read this book. Read this book. This is a very like my 300 pages book. It's very very overwhelming. Um, but read it and he explains about the cancelum, how to uh, select a growth stock with a perfect perfect combination of uh, technicals and fundamentals and it's a very very like you know uh, comprehensive book but uh, the only problem with this book is now trying to understand the thing is a little bit challenging and when you put it to practical work now uh, hopefully now you may lose uh, some money before you make some so it is very challenging to now implement practically all the rules and all, everything he talks about it but once you get the hang of it uh, it's pretty simple so read this book but you may have to you know, read multiple times and this is you now modern day one of the book we talked about previously everything got summarized here and how to use it in the 21st century so just read this book uh, it's a good book to read and uh, so it's going to take time to you now get practice to this cancelum and the growth stock training uh, but you eventually will get it so next one is for the short selling it's the same below Neil. he wrote this book uh, if you want to know sell short stock sh short you want to make money this is the only book you have to read okay there is tons of stock annotations just read this book it's a very small book and you will get it uh, but uh, now he explains you how to what's the best timing to know a uh, short stock it's not for everybody um, but this book you just read it it is a very very good book and it has tons of stock annotations in the back uh, you can refer it for even for buying your stock so it's uh, one of the worth uh, like you know book to buy and keep it in your shelf and you can refer the stock charts pretty much every day okay guys these are the five best books uh, you guys can take a look at it and you can read them in amazon and i will put you the link and you can buy it and you can read it i'm pretty sure that you guys will like this book uh, at some point uh, thanks again guys watching this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, here to do our uh, social media sites and website and you can find the information there very useful and uh, i will see you guys in another short video thank you very much for watching this video and good luck with your trading